Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. So, um, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out your Uranus in Taurus specials. Um, they're up, they have been up for a while and they're doing really well. Um, and I think it's because it's such a long transit, you know, everybody wants to know what this is actually going to mean. And I think a lot of people are feeling the stuff that's going to take place now. And I've been saying to everybody, pay attention to what happens, you know, for the next sort of three months as of the 15th of May, because that's going to give you a real indicator of what's going to take place over the next seven years. Um, you know, it's going to be like a, all the whole seven years crammed into to three months sort of thing so um enjoy anyway i would like to bless both of these decks with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so your actions and your interactions with the world at large in the month of june So you get the temperance card now this is beautiful because the temperance card represents patience it also represents a, a kind of stillness but it, it represents the kind of stillness that comes from patience um you know patience um, patience the word temperance actually means patience and when you see the temperance card you're actually because it's got links to sagittarius you're actually being asked to find the deeper meaning in things and therefore go through the process of spiritual alchemy so it's going to be like all of the actions that you take this month you're going to be searching for the meaning in them you're going to be asking yourself why am i doing this why is this important to me why is that external factor making me feel a certain way so Everything that happens to you in, you know, in your everyday life, everything that happens to you in the month of June, you're going to be really asking some big questions about, you know, what am I doing? What, am, where am I going? Where are my responses coming from? You know, links to Sagittarius talks about your belief structure and your belief system. And you've got the angel here, uh, blending one thing and blending another and bringing various things, you know, temperance being a source of strength. And that source of strength happens to be alchemy. It's how you um, process the external environmental uh, impact on yourself and take away the best from it it's the process of spiritual distillation and the way that you usually go about that the way that you, anybody usually goes up about that is by taking on board and understanding the experience that they, that they go through and questioning their responses to them so this month's going to be very much a, a case of you acting and you know if you do act on something you'll be making sure you do so in a conscious fashion if you do have something that comes to you and you react to it you will be searching for the reason why you will be looking for uh, the you know what is it is it my program is it is it my conditioning is it my childhood is it my past is it my this is it my that you're going to be really asking yourself the bigger questions this month of why do I do the things that I do and what does that mean and more importantly how can I transcend that that's the other thing about temperance the process of alchemy is taking base metals like bronze lead and all of that stuff and turning them into gold so basically you're taking something that's considered a lower vibration or a lower value or lower worth and elevating it turning base metals into gold gold is considered a, a you know the, the the metal of kings etc um, and that process of going from the lower vibrations to the higher vibrations is you know is what you're searching for but in order to do so you've got to get into the nitty-gritty of it and you've got to ask yourself the bigger questions the deeper questions and who better to do this kind of work than a Virgo you know you guys are all about being meticulous you're about being particular um, as well you know Virgos are, are very exacting Virgos are all about taking the best out of the situation and leaving behind anything that doesn't matter um, and you know this month you're doing that on a spiritual basis through observing your external and other and uh, you know everyday worldly interactions okay so your money and your materials this month and this could be anything from your body to your home to your bank account and it could you know sometimes it could be all of the above 
the two of swords so this talks about trusting your intuition it talks about trusting your gut the two of swords is a card that indicates psychic ability or psychic awareness it tells you when you should trust your feelings when you should trust your intuition it also tells you when you should trust your gut instinct now when it comes to money and finances it may well be especially with the temperance card there and we were talking about spirituality and you know looking into why you do what you do there's a couple of things that i'm hearing from this one of them is if you are the sort of person that impulse spends or impulse buys this is definitely going to be the month where you will start to understand why you do that and what the triggers for it are the other part of this is if an idea or a um an opportunity presents itself spontaneously and you think actually this could be quite lucrative and you get that gut hunch about it or you get that intuitive sort of yeah you know i feel something about this follow your intuition follow your gut instinct because it's not going to steer you wrong it never does um on top of that the two of swords represents um stillness of the mind it represents stillness and what this kind of says to me is in terms of your physical health this month virgo i'm not a doctor i can't give you medical advice i can give you however the energy around things that take place and more importantly i'm a holistic therapist so i can give you some basic advice but as i said i am not a medical professional but what i can tell you is the energy of this card suggests that because your mind uh, you know you're taking it's kind of like you're allowing your your spirit and um and your your inner world to take over and in doing so your mind or your mental faculties will start to calm and start to slow and when you can be slow in here it has an amazing physiological effect on the on the entire body you know when your mind is calm when your mind is at peace everything else seems to to follow you know and this is very true of your feelings as well so this will be a month where you're doing a lot of deep introspection and doing such deep introspection those inner senses become sort of refined and honed and they become really really sensitive um you know and this i believe is what's going to give you the ability to spot a deal to spot a you know or when you get a hunch about something and when you think oh actually might invest in that or i might buy this for the future or you know it's, it's very much about all of your senses especially your inner spiritual and psychic senses are going to be refined this month um, and you know that could be quite lucrative for you because it could lead you to um, you know quite a, <laughs> yeah, um, a, a lucrative little hunch so you have um, right interesting because in your communications look what jumps out oh, the tower so this is going to be the month especially here right so you've got the two of swords there which is the intuition the psychic awareness this is you are feeling something coming and in your communications you then get the tower the tower card i could go into this card so much because it's so rich in symbolism but one of the i'm just going to give you a quick rundown um in the Tarot de Marseille, this is called Le Maison de Dieu. Now I've always believed, that, and those words translated mean the house of God. I have always believed that the human being is the house of God because there's a divine spark in, within each one of us. Now, when you see the lightning blasting the crown off of the tower, some people say it's the Tower of Babel. In some ways, I guess you could link it to that. But for me, this is, you know, lightning is divine. It comes from the sky. It's God's thunderbolt. It's God's finger. Um, you know, I don't believe in God in the traditional sense, but you get my point. Um, and the crown, this is the crown, the crown chakra. And I kind of see that as divine knowledge and divine wisdom come in and striking you in that crown to give you divine understanding and wisdom. Uh, however, what it does tend to come with is the cracking of illusions. When the tower falls, the tower represents all of the things that you built up in your mind that you believed would last forever or were completely safe. They, the tower represents the parts of yourself that you've lied about to yourself. It's the things that you, you know, you've built up in your mind to be such a pillar of strength, etc. And then when it comes crashing down, it's like, oh my gosh, how did this happen? When deep down you knew that it would happen because you were building on something that wasn't necessarily terra firma. So what does this mean for your, in, what does this mean for your communications? It means that this month of June, there will be words spoken between you and friends. There will be words spoken between all of the people that you interact with. 
some of them may be revelation revelatory in the sense that people will be saying things and you'll be like wow where is that coming from have you always thought and felt like that they probably have it's only just now you're uh, you're learning about this and it could also be the other way around as well um you know you could be the one that is saying something that shocks a lot of people because you're finally you know it's like i, I haven't got the energy to bullshit anymore i'm just going to tell you as it is this is this this is that and you know somewhere in the middle we're going to have to make common ground so it's like this month you are really speaking your mind and this month you are really not holding back or taking any prisoners and it will be the same energy that's reciprocated to you the other part of this is when you read these two cards in conjunction this tells me that there is a secret or something that you it's almost like it's something that you've been sitting on for somebody else and you haven't spoken on it um you know because it's not your secret to share which is a very admirable thing to do however the tower card in the communication sector could suggest that somebody will come forward and say you knew about this why didn't you say anything and you know if I were you in this position with what I see here my answer would be because it wasn't mine to share you know providing I'm not hurting anybody by you know holding that information I'm just minding my business I'm not getting involved where it doesn't concern me um very very interesting very intriguing let me know how that plays out for you guys and then it's interesting because June seems to why they're all jumping out at the moment um, June seems to be the challenge month for a lot of signs. This seems to be the month where um, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff is coming out or being said or being you know things are being kind of diverted or averted. I guess is another way you could see it. So in your heart and your half this month, this is your deeper, closer personal ties. You have the Six of Wands. Now this is good because it kind of suggests to me that after this good clear out of communication, once everybody's said what they've been sitting on or what they've you know been harboring or what they've needed to hold back, everything about that from you know from that moment or from that event allows everybody to move forward in the best way because it's like a this is giving you a clean slate effectively that's how i see the tower the tower is you know i'm going to wipe everything down i'm going to wipe everything out and then i'm going to build again on terra firma for those of you that are coupled this could be the blowout that you need this could be the you know the the argument that sparks the passion again it could be the thing that settles the debate between you for those of you that are partnered this very much to me talks about the big elephant in the room finally being talked about and once it's been talked about and it's been you know put away or put aside or put to rest then you can really start to make strides and go for the celebration and the enjoyment and say oh do you know what look at what we've come through together so this isn't actually a bad card in this respect and in this reading. What it kind of suggests is that you need the blowout in terms of communications and things that need to be said so that you can really um, move forward. So that you can, you know, it's like that clean slate and then you can say, oh, do you know what? Look at everything that we've come through, you know, of late and here we are now having the best time of our lives. For those of you that are single, this suggests that somebody that really presses your buttons, somebody that really, um, annoys the shit out of you could be the one that's coming forward and exciting you it also suggests that you should go out into places that stretch your imagination and more importantly places that um that take you out of your comfort zone if you if you're open to to finding love or to finding a partner of some kind then yeah you're definitely going to have to get out of your usual known bubble um, and more importantly, for those of you that are celebrating this month, if you are single, this could be somebody crossing your path that kind of really annoys the shit out of you, but excites you and um, makes you feel alive at the same time. A very, very exciting month for you guys. Um, it's quite interesting one, actually. And then finally, you have your key to the month, which is... the Hierophant card. 
So this talks about the status quo, it talks about the rules and regulations, it talks about doing things properly, doing things right, it talks about going over the fine print and it also talks about the bigger institutions. And this kind of says to me that your key for the month is to really get into not only your physical body but really like I said, you know, examine your actions, examine um, where it is that you fit in with the larger scheme of, you know, so if this is at your work, figure out what it is that makes you the type of employee that people like and need around. Figure out if the job that you're doing is actually still for you. This is the time for you to start really, um, you know, it's interesting as well, because you've got the cross keys there and you've got the cross swords there. So this represents, although this is your money and your materials, um, that is an air card. And then you've got the hierophant here, which is an earth card. So it's interesting that you've got that whole thing going on there. What that kind of really says to me is that there is a balance. There's a balance between the spiritual and the mental, and there's a balance between the physical and the spiritual. And this month you're gonna be finding it. It's like you you are looking for your completeness and you are looking for your, um, it's like you're not looking to justify yourself, but it's more like you're looking to validate yourself for yourself, by yourself, and the way that you do so is to truly observe your interactions. Is your job or the institution that you work for, volunteer with, you know, study with, is it really for you? Does it match and mirror the core values of who you really are, of who you perceive yourself to be? Um, and if it doesn't, what does that say about not only you, but also the institution that you're involved with? That's the big question this month. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. I hope you have an amazing month. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be eternally grateful for it. If the video has helped you in any way, shape, or form, you can donate to us. We would be eternally grateful for that too. Have an amazing month, and I will see you very soon.